When people ask me what, what do I think is one of the best lessons my rich dad taught me, I think it was a lesson of working for free. In other words, I mentioned earlier how I started working for my rich dad for 10 cents an hour, and my poor dad got really upset, and I went to him and I said, you know, I'm working for 10 cents an hour, and that's too cheap, and I want to raise. And I said, but besides, you promised you would teach me something. And my rich dad at that point, when I asked for a raise, he taught me one of the most valuable lessons ever learned was that he, took, he said, did not give me a 15 cent raise. In fact, he took all my money away and he asked me to work for free. And to this day, one of the reasons I am rich is because I've never really had to work for earned income or income from a paycheck. And that's one of the best lessons I ever heard because or has because lesson number six of my rich dad was work to learn, don't work for money. So for most of my life, I have only taken a job four years at one time, and that was because when I came back from Vietnam in 1973, my rich dad said to me, if I wanted to be a business owner or an investor, a fundamental skill I had to learn was learn how to sell. And I was extremely shy, very, very shy individual. So the idea of going and you know, knocking on a door and taking rejections was just terrifying for me. So I, in 1974, when I got out of the Marine Corps, I took a job with the Xerox Corporation in Honolulu, Hawaii, just so I could learn how to knock on doors and take rejection and learn how to sell. And it was one of the most, that's the only time I've really had a job because what I was doing was working to learn. I wasn't working for the money I made. For two years, I was the worst salesman Xerox ever had. I was always on the verge of being fired just because of my fear of being rejected and the hate of being rejected. And finally, one day, I overcame that into my second year and ultimately went to become one of the top sales reps for Xerox in the Honolulu branch. And it was that lesson of going and knocking on doors, knocking on doors, that ultimately makes me the most money because today, you know, today in a global economy, we all have to sell. You know, some of the best even preachers have to sell and school teachers sell. So the ability of selling and com communicating your ideas is a fundamental skill. Another skill I had to learn was public speaking. And you know, they say that public speaking is a fear almost worse than death. And so I had to overcome that also. So that's what I mean by you know, work to learn, don't work for the money. So for most of my life, I have taken jobs for free after that. Since I, could have my, since I was investing and buying real estate anyway, I had the luxury of going to work for people. So today, I work for a gentleman who has taken over 100 companies public in his lifetime. I work for him for free, not because of the money I'm going to earn, but for what I'm going to learn. So a very important lesson that my rich dad taught me he said that you go to school for school smarts. And he says school smarts are very important. You know, gotta have you have to know how to read and write, do arithmetic and all this. But it says if you want to be rich, you ultimately have to have street smarts. So if I could suggest to most of you, most of you know what your fears are and things like this. If you have the opportunity, find a job, not so much for how much money you can make, but for what you will learn by taking that job. To spend your life working for earned income, working for money, is in my experience not the way to get rich. What ultimately makes you rich are street smarts and school smarts. So that's why my rich dad said, work to learn don't work for money because the more I know the more money I make unfortunately what happens to most people is they get so highly specialized that they don't expand their ability to do anything else so the problem with being specialized in the real world the more specialized you get the less opportunities you have and it may, may look like more but they actually get narrower and narrower so going back to school smarts versus street smarts Big distinction my rich dad gave me, he says, in school, your report card is your report card. Do you have A's, B's, C's, or D's? He says, but when you leave schools and you hit the streets, your report card is really this financial statement. In other words, how many assets do you have versus liabilities? That's where you find out this is your real report card for life. And unfortunately, what happens to most people, since they're not taught this in school, they leave school with school smarts, and they wind up at the end of their life finding out that their financial report card, probably the most important report card once you leave school, is in very bad shape. So that's why you want to be financially literate. The thing I recommend is this. I never stop learning. 
I'm constantly going to seminars. When I go to the gym, you know, if you want to find out the best mentors and the best mind, they have audio cassettes. I put those audio cassettes on my little Walkman. I'm in the treadmill working out at this. But at the same time, I'm listening to some of the smartest and brightest minds in the world. So please, if I can stress one thing, just because school ends doesn't mean your education ends.